Recently, there's been a lot of talk about coronavirus. Let us learn more about this interesting and dangerous virus to be more aware about the risks it poses and how to stay safe. So let us begin this journey. First, let us look at what all we are going to cover. We are going to cover the introduction. Let me just highlight it. The introduction, the history of coronavirus and how it formed, its diseases and symptoms, how it replicates, and what should you do? And uh, how can you stay safe from this virus? And last but not the least, I would like to mention all the people who helped me make this wonderful and amazing video. So let us get started. So first let us uh, uh, learn a bit about its structure of the coronavirus. So coronavirus are enveloped viruses. They are enveloped viruses. So they have an envelope which protects their positive sense single stranded RNA. So RNA will look like this. So it's, it's, it's a copy of the DNA. DNA is the instructions or, the, or what, what all should the cell do and how it functions. So this is how RNA looks and this is how DNA will look. This is DNA. So this is DNA and this is this is DNA and this is RNA. So uh, they have RNA with a nucleocapsid. So a nucleocapsid is is what's keeping the RNA inside properly. It's the second layer. So the nucleocapsid, it's this part over here. And uh, if, with a nucleocapsid which has helical symmetry. And the new, let and let us look at the RNA in sac, inside the coronavirus. So the RNA over here is these frilly strands of green, and the nucleoprotein help in securing this, which which are this this is a nucleoprotein. One on the outside, one on the inside. So that's the nucleoprotein and it has a, a spike glycoprotein which is very important. This is really important as this is what helps in the coronavirus to infect other cells because it latches on to the cells proteins present on the cell and it uh, fits these in to grip onto those proteins to enter the cell. So this is really important for the virus. Basically, everything is important, but this is the most important. The genomic size of coronaviruses ranges from approximately 26 to 32 kilobases. The largest for an RNA virus. So not because virus cases can be DNA or RNA. And viruses aren't alive. They're actually like matter which wants to replicate and infect. They aren't alive. And there has been a lot of debate on whether it's alive or not. But actually it isn't. So its scientific name is coronavirus. It's also known as COVID-19. Its family is the coronaviridae. It, it belongs to many other viruses such as the SARS virus or the swine flu. Or they all belong in this family. Its order is nidovirus. Its biological classification is genus. And its lower classification is Scotophilus bat coronavirus 512. So this is basically the structure of the coronavirus. And it's quite dangerous as it can spread very quickly. So let's move on. Now let us learn about the history of coronavirus. As you can see over here, first let me just like have a look at the picture. This is the picture, yeah. So uh, the coronavirus, it it's actually uh, here in the picture is showing how it's entering the cell. So these proteins right over here are like latching onto the proteins in the cell here to enter and make new viruses inside by hijacking the cell. 
this is the virus roughly i can't draw well yeah so it hijacks the cell and makes new viruses which come out again so i'm just drawing circles so that's how it works it enters it makes new viruses inside the cell by hijacking it and and then the virus is released and it was formed in a marketplace in wuhan in china in 2019 in the end of 2019 there is virtually no treatment available yet that is what makes it so dangerous because if you get infected there is no vaccine or medication that doctors can pre prescribe the most they can do is keep you on ventilator support so that you don't die if you go into a coma it is not quite fatal as it can only kill very young or old people with existing conditions such as diabetes stroke uh, if the patient had stroke before all those things even though not fatal don't think that it's not dangerous because it can spread quickly and it has caused lo losses in huge quantities and this and one more thing that makes it so dangerous is that it's mistaken as common cold so common cold is like it's seasonal and it's very weak it hap it's quite often you get infected by common cold so there is nothing much to it but it but the symptoms aggravate in corona virus so it's a stronger relative of the common cold and they have similar symptoms at first it was contracted when an individual consumed a bat and snake curry this is a rumor we are in sure whether this is true but this is the rumor so i thought i'll mention it this is a room probably a rumor this led to the virus gaining the ability to infect humans so after that from a, it was actually a virus in some reptile or mammal so that adapted so that it could infect people now it changed a bit in the first person who, who got infected it has now spread to 120 countries let me highlight that 120 countries and counting it is also known as covid-19 which i already mentioned before so this is roughly the history of the corona virus now let us look at the diseases and symptoms caused by corona virus corona virus patients generally suffer from cough fever runny nose shortness of breath and headaches the the first few symptoms cough and fever and runny nose are also in common cold fever not so much but cough and runny nose is there in common cold uh, but when you get shortness of breath or headaches consult medical care immediately and that to now in this stage of the virus you have to be very aware such people can require medical attention to prevent further infections so without proper attention like icu intensive care it might lead to further bacteria other viruses hijacking the immune system because this weakens the immune system quite well people with a healthy immune system will recover so it's not fatal for healthy healthy for a healthy immune system generally people with pre existing conditions can get pneumonia as the immune system will overreact it wants to like put mucus in the lungs as well to control this but then it it releases fluid into the lungs which causes pneumonia which in rare cases leads to brain oxygen deprivation so that means that the lungs are full of fluid so how will it send oxygen to the brain which can cause nerve damage organ failure and death in the rarest of all cases it generally affects very young or old individuals like it infects them and it causes more complications in them sometimes corona virus can lead to other infections as it considerably weakens the immune system as mentioned before so these symptoms you have to quickly recognize to get further treatment or because it's quite important that you get treated in the earlier stages so that you can recover quickly 
so please if you are suffering from a shortness of breath or headaches this part then please go to a medical care facility immediately because if it gets more complicated it will take more time for you to recover so this is the diseases and symptoms caused by coronavirus moving onward now let us look at its replication how it replicates how is it the main power of a coronavirus how it replicates so quickly so let us learn about it the coronavirus replicates by infecting lung cells mainly lung cells with their virus rna which forces the cell it infects other cell also cells also but mainly lung cells to make more of the virus it can spread quite quickly as initially it has the upper hand against the immune system so first the immune system it slow in detecting this virus is quite stealthy so it's like it people won't understand that you are infected uh, as well so no treatments are also given and even the immune system doesn't recognize the virus so easily the gradually the immune system kills the virus but the problem is that it infects the lung cells so the pro- it can spread very easily to other people in cough sneeze and so it what happens is when you cough or sneeze i'll just draw it out so when your lungs just ignore my drawing please so when you cough or sneeze like so this is your lungs and you're coughing out tiny respiratory droplets of water okay and mucus they come out and in this the virus is there so there's virus the corona virus is hiding inside it like that these respiratory dro- droplets they can come in contact with your hand or so or hand or and then with if you don't wash your hands or something or if you, if you inhale these droplets as well that's the risk if you inhale these droplets accidentally or uh, these droplets uh, mouth nose etc or can lead to you getting infected but the main advantage that this virus has is that if it comes on a table or anything if it lands on a table it can last for 48 hours 48 hours without dying so for 48 hours it will sit there until one more individual comes and uh, uh, gets infected by the virus that's the advantage of the virus it doesn't die easily the main area where it lives is cold places so if your country is infected by corona virus you should avoid cold foods like ice creams uh then uh, cold uh, cold coffee all those things and now uh, it's even the summer so in summer we should be more safe i know it's it's really hard because it's summer now and ice cream we should all we all want to have but because it's so hot but we should still restrict cold food items because they can survive longer in colder temperatures so that's very important limit yourself let the uh, pandemic go then you can have such foods such corona viruses as mentioned earlier more than 48 hours it can't survive whatever happens even in pleasant circumstances that's the maximum but we should still be safe from this So let us just look at the main thing how it works in this diagram, how it's in, how it's actually replicating and making more in the cell. So let us have a look. I'll just change one second. Yeah. So this is a virus. You can see here this protein that I mentioned earlier. It's locking into this these proteins on the cell surface. So these two unlock, and then the virus can. come into the cell you can see these to dissolve and the virus enters so that's what happened so now these viruses come and make a membrane around them and dorsal and dorsal membrane fusion that's important so this membrane protects them the cell doesn't realize then then when it reaches the nucleus the, the area around the nucleus it 
comes apart from the nucleus and the viruses membrane the outer capsid what's protecting the rna dissolves so then as rna comes it wrap, it comes into it turns into messenger rna the viruses inside this is messenger rna which is sent to the ribosomes these are the ribosomes which make new viruses so the nucleus actually gives these rna instructions but in this case the virus is giving these instructions so this leads to the hijacking and the virus orders keep making this so this makes the ribosomes occupy so they can't do the actual nucleus's orders the main thing of the cell so then this makes more of the virus and the cycle repeats and many like hundreds of viruses can can fit inside one cell because they are like really tiny so if a virus is this much a cell is this much pretty much so that's the advantage so hundreds of viruses will be inside the cell without being detected some immune cells might come they might recognize that the cells infected to regular checks and what they do is they send a direct order to the cell to kill itself and then the cell will die it can't do anything this it releases a sort of compound which kills the cell this is quite uh, this happens in the later stage when the immune system realizes it's infected but usually in the, it has the upper hand that's the advantage so then these hundreds of viruses come out of the cell like this and then fed more cells and more cells so the cycle repeats so it has formed a cycle come into the cell infect make more viruses infect more that's what's happening and it very quickly spreads to many cells but once the immune system come reacts it can generally kill the virus so that's the thing that's how the immune system controls it even macrophages which are like the cells which which are like the things which guard the cell so the virus is very vulnerable outside the cell is very uh, vulnerable it's not protected so there the macrophages can kill it quickly that's the thing so if we don't have any immune cells what happens is the immune system will think i don't have enough cells to protect so i have to overreact so it will overreact and that's what causes the further complications so that that's how it works and many and that many other immune system processes will kill the virus if you have a proper immune system so it's very important to have many uh, vegetables and all this to have a proper functioning immune system and the main thing about the virus that i already have mentioned is the replication so because it can replicate so quickly that it has the advantage and spread so quickly among many means one individual 100 people it can uh, 100 people that person can infect in a matter of minutes that's the advantage of the virus it's very quick infecting so you should have a really strong in immune system at this time so moving onward what should you do to stay safe from this virus because you don't want to get infected by this virus i'm telling you it will ruin your summer holidays and all your fun times so you should stay safe so the main thing that you should do is not over panic so some people will over panic they will isolate themselves for no reason you should not do all that it's it's fine it's a virus these over panicking won't solve anything people have been infected by diseases such as ebola sars which are much worse than coronavirus coronavirus has a death rate of 2% only 2% and i'll write that down 2% so out of 100 people two people will die while sars which also belongs to the same family uh, it will it had a death rate of 10% 10 and ebola in some places had a death rate of 80% 80% huge so people have been through that coronavirus is nothing much so we should not panic we should stay calm it's nothing compared to that you should also practice good hygiene now this is very important 
so like you shouldn't like uh, keep touching your nose and mouth and all those places where the virus can easily infect you because those places are really important you shouldn't touch them frequently you should wash your hands properly and frequently wearing a medical mask is not that important only if you are infected you should wear a medical mask to protect others you should avoid public gatherings if you are infected with corona virus please now this is really important please isolate yourself from others if you don't have your friends your family members everyone will get infected that will lead to other people getting infected and this is what is increasing the corona virus's power if you have a cough if you have a cold please isolate yourself this is really important as it will help prevent other people from getting infected this doesn't mean that you can over relax that it's nothing much it won't kill me i'm not worried this some people are doing this which is not right you shouldn't over panic and uh, like uh, react too much but you should not over relax and think oh this is nothing it's it won't harm you you are not superhuman that uh, it can't infect you it will infect you and it is dangerous so you have to re- if and if too many people get infected it will be difficult to access proper health care which is very important so respect this virus understand that it's dangerous and stay as far away from it as possible and please also share like and subscribe to this video to increase awareness about this virus so that people know that what is this virus how to stay safe from it so let us look at how to wash our hands properly because many people just like put little soap on their hands and slap a bit of water and that's it done So main thing that you should do is first wet your hands properly completely where else is use a different hello so you have to wet your hands now up, then apply solution and scrub for at least 5 seconds at least 5 seconds 5 seconds you can scrub it won't kill you so you have to apply the soap and scrub for 5 seconds then scrub back of hands between fingers all those areas between your fingers behind your hands palms everywhere and then rinse your hands properly then turn off the water using your elbow because you don't want to keep touching the surfaces because the more you touch with your hands the hands only you will use for like eating and all that so don't you like turn off the water with your uh, hand don't do that don't turn the water with your hand turn it with your elbow let me use a different color for that yeah so use your elbow which is the right thing to do yeah and then dry with a paper towel so just then dry it properly or else if you don't want to rinse your hands all the time just apply sanitizer and very important apply alcohol sanitizer don't use sanitizers which don't have alcohol as alcohol kills it very quickly alcohol is really important i'll just write that down alcohol is really important in any sanitizer and please stock up on uh, medicines alcohol and all that because now this is infecting so many people so rapidly that the country will after a point prevent like mass gatherings and shut down completely so please talk up on food and sanitizers and all these stuff to stay safe so that's almost it for corona virus i would now like to mention all the people who i would like to thank to help me make this amazing video I would like to thank my friends, teachers, and friends for being so supportive of me making such science videos. I would also like to thank you. Yes, you. I am talking to you, the viewer of this video, for being so interested and watching till the end of this video. As without you, this channel would not exist. Please like, share, and subscribe. to this video to support this channel forever thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video 
and keep watching keep learning thank you